up, everyone? Welcome to the No Life Gaming Hour, gaming show, gaming spot. I am your host, Wayne. We are going to be talking about a few things. There was the Game Awards, the Keeley Awards that uh, just happened last week. Uh, there was also PSX. Um, so there's a bunch of stuff to talk about there. Um, and remember that our tech section is now airing on Fridays. So Fridays, you guys can get the, the tech section of the show. Um, that way, you know, we can split up the shows a little bit more. You're not listening to three hours of show um, all at once. All right. Uh, let's just let's just kick into it. No Life uh, website almost coming soon. Very, very close. Um, just pushing it back a little bit. It's a little bit delayed, but that's okay. You guys don't care about it anyway. At No Life Digital on Twitter, at No Life digital on twitch all right bring them the co-host what's up dudes what's up guys how you guys doing you guys enjoy the gaming awards <laughs> what up bro i sure did i sure did dude uh, i think that was the best gaming awards ever that was the best one i'm still waking up from the snore fest that was psx uh it was pretty pretty boring but it was all worth it got, getting to see death stranded for the second time like uh Oh no, I, I liked uh, I liked the the game awards. They were kind of awkward, though. You know what I mean? At some no, <laughs> the game awards being awkward. <laughs> what? Dude, the music was awesome though. The live the orchestra, that shit was dope. And then having Wait, what, this, what, so, what the, the Mario band that played Phoenix or something. Is that what they're called? They Phoenix? were, yeah, they were, they were boring. But but like the that? actual orchestra yeah, was Phoenix. great. I liked that. <laughs> Oh, did you like that uh, that orchestra? And then you had like one guy on guitar. <laughs> Dude, how about the chick that but they was playing the, the cello? Soundtrack. The chick playing the cello is like rocking out on the cello in the orchestra. I think they're called Phoenix. I think that's their name. Dude, they were going through all the like the that, the, the game of the year like candidates. The band like, the that played like on? 1901, like that super hipster band from like seven or eight years ago. No, no that's no, that's some that's a different band. That's the band called Phoenix. No, sure? I think this is that's the band. the band called Phoenix. Maybe yeah, I'm pretty the, I pretty sure. The, I thought it was Amp Live. Oh, they're they're a gaming band. I for, they they said it during the show, but I forget. It was like Phoenix something. Could be wrong. Phoenix it just down? Phoenix. Yeah, maybe because no. Phoenix, Phoenix just was like that hipster band that played in Urban Outfitters eight years ago. It's a pretty good band. I, was, I, like, I like that band. I was about to say Phoenix Down would make sense. Is it Phoenix Down? Did you watch the Gaming Awards? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I watched them, but uh, I don't remember that specific spot because it, I don't know. I was kind of like, like half in, half out. Oh yeah, no, it was definitely a major point of the show. Was the was the band? There was like a good 15 minute oh, segment that nobody can remember the okay. name of. <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking of the song 1940 <laughs> by the uh, was it the Submarines? When you said like 1901, yeah, let's find out. I want to. I want to know the game awards or cash. Yeah, no, I was talking like super hipster band, super indie. Excuse me, indie, indie rock. They're synonymous. Yeah. Pretty no, much. The, but they were doing like the whole like game of the year candidates, like orchestra, and I was just like, man, great songs. What's PUBG gonna sound like? <laughs> Is it just gonna be silent? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and thankfully it was oh the band <laughs> phoenix played at the game awards yeah that they band were, that you're uh, talking about they were they were yeah. the ba- so actual the, band the phoenix. indie band yes okay. the actual yes. indie band phoenix played at the game awards <laughs> but then there was a orchestra that played too that was like it was like before they announced game of the year there was like a 15 minute and you know like super mario odyssey where they were you that what is it new donk city stage at the end where they sing the song and you go through the city and it's like Dude, one uh, fucking awesome one, song. one up one up superstar or whatever it is yeah 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 she was lip syncing but how do you know are you there oh, dude it, it was you clear as day it was not syncing at all that it was <laughs> that was as bad as xenoblade 2's lip sync okay <laughs> where nothing dude, matches. shots fired dude yeah it was she still sounded, a good performance from the orchestra she sounded though. a little too good right it was almost a little too unbelievably good. I was, was uh, a little bit. She was a little bit too good, so it has to be fate. No, like yeah. no, like, I love that song, but they were doing like Persona uh, Five, Rivers in the Desert, and they didn't sing that at all. 
but they sang the Mario song. Oh, it's is a that, little sad about that. So th- they're called the Game Awards Orchestra, and the guitarist is the dude from Avenged Sevenfold. Yeah. And uh, Sinister uh, Sinister Gates. <laughs> Sinister <laughs> Gates. I guess. <laughs> it's funny to me. Tina yeah, Goo, Tina Goo uh, is the cellist that I was talking about. Tina Goo. Uh, I don't know how to say her name. But she must be like... You're some, close enough to me. Some badass cellist. Tina I'm just Goo. glad PUBG didn't win shit. Yeah, they won like one award, I Dude, think. Dude, Horizon didn't win anything. Yeah, nope. that was pretty brutal. Horizon didn't win one award. What? Yeah, but... That, that is, is a bit unbelievable. That was my game of the year. That was my pick for game of the year. Didn't win shit. Zelda won game of the year, which was, I mean, it's gonna. Who, it's pretty yeah, obvious. Nobody surprised at that. Not to mention they announced that DLC like out tonight. Like yeah. nobody saw that shit coming. No. That was that not. was huge. Did you get the DLC yet? Uh, I haven't gotten it yet, just because I'm I'm want to get through Xenoblade two before I play Zelda, because I'll get lost in that. And never I know. Return. I don't know if I want to get it right now. <laughs> I heard it's. I heard it's hard. Like it's I, actually difficult. I got to go to my family for the Christmas break, so I might get it before then and just play Christmas break with my brothers. Yeah, I've um, heard that the sh- I've heard the shrines are brutal. That's awesome. I'm pumped. I'm like, yeah, I'm excited for that. Uh, Maximilian, yeah. Maximilian, dude was doing some um, oh. some doing doing some speculation on some of the trailers. This, well, primarily the FromSoft trailer. Oh, Bloodborne um, 2? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And That'd um, be cool because people want it. His his girlfriend was actually playing the Zelda DLC on the on the stream while he was talking about speculation. Okay, it looked, am I pretty, the, it looked pretty decent. Am I the only one, though, that's like, I don't like the motorcycle? It feels incredibly <laughs> out of place. Yeah. Like, why? <laughs> it, it does, dude. <laughs> It was it was definitely a source of some memes. I think my favorite was an Akira joke. <laughs> it was just Zelda in the Akira font. I I get the idea is kind of like playing on the Mario Kart eight like deluxe where they had Link on the motorcycle, but that because that's what he used to race. But it did feel kind of weird. But you only get it if you like beat the whole DLC. And it's yeah, not something they just so. give to you. True. You have to beat it. But if I buy the DLC, I'm going to beat the DLC. I would hope so. And I don't care to have a motorcycle. <laughs> like, I don't know. I think it's pretty badass. I would much rather have like a tricked out horse. I mean, it depends on with, what like, I can metal, do uh, with that honor. motorcycle. If I can do some crazy like tricks throughout Like Hyrule. Superman's? <laughs> yeah. Grab the seat and jump off a fucking mountain? If I can j- jump off a fucking mountain and not die, that's cool. what they should have done, dude. They should have done like a <laughs> DLC for like a uh, shield surfing DLC where you can see it's like, like Tony Hawk cool. and then Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Game. You know, Tony that's Hawk a mechanic Skater, in the game. With a shield. It makes sense. It like fits. They, they should have added a motorcycle. Uh, like they should have added hey, dude, the Tony I just Hawk invented soundtrack. this new combustible <laughs> engine technology to this magical world in the set in like the 1300s. By the way, I have a motorcycle now. <laughs> Just, Jerry, just, just jump onto I the fly shield. around on a. I pick up a leaf and fly around, but don't worry, I now have a combustible engine motorcycle. <laughs> Jerry just wants that uh, shield surfing and that Goldfinger song to be playing. Everything See, I, I am, am a Superman. Doing everything I can. <laughs> I'm out of what I am. Not a Superman. It's very why good did the ska? Go. Why did the ska band drop their instruments so they could pick it up, pick it up, pick it up? Very nice. That was a very good <laughs> joke. Uh, All right. Well, let's talk about before we get into uh, what we've been playing. Uh, let's just run down the list and see um, just thoughts on it. So, game of the year, Zelda. We already talked about that. I'm disappointed that Horizon didn't win. But I mean, it. And for PUBG to be on the list, we already talked about that. It's pretty ridiculous. Best game direction, Zelda as well. That makes sense to me. Um, I think uh, I think that one deserves it. Um, even though Resident Evil 7's game direction was pretty fucking badass, it was pretty badass. Horizons was good, but I mean, I I just like the way Resident Evil 7 was just it's like everything a, a return together. to form. Yeah, everything put together like, and the way that oh man, it was great. Like the the idea of game direction is innovation and. 
Resident Evil and Zelda both did that by returning back to their straight up roots. For Zelda going back to one of Zelda one was in a really cool 3D environment that you could just do anything. Yeah. And Resident Evil was like, hey, do you remember horror? Yeah. And it gave you that. You remember when we did action games for a little while? Well, now we're going back to horror. You remember <laughs> tank controls? You don't want to shoot them up? What? <laughs> yeah, who doesn't want to play Resident Evil 6 again? Not me. I don't want to. Best narrative, best. What Remains of Edith Finch. Uh, I did not see that one coming. I mean, it's a yeah. good narrative, know, but, yeah. but yeah, I didn't see that coming. I kind of had the feeling when, uh, when it won that other award that it was going to win that one. I mean, it's, defi- like, it's definitely a good story game. Yeah, because that's all it is is a story game, but it, the story is really compelling. Yeah. So I mean, sure, but that was actually probably the, one of the most stacked categories. Period. Anyway. Yeah. Best art direction, Cuphead. I mean, it's oh pretty, yeah, that one's pretty obvious. Yeah. Best score near Aut- Aut- Automata, uh, which I thought was surprising because I liked Persona's music and score way more than I liked near Automata. I don't remember a damn score from near Automata. It's and pretty Cuphead. like Cuphead's music was amazing. Yeah, Cuphead's music was cool. As I Doobie. say, there are some bangers on that soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, Doobie still riding around bumping that uh, Cuphead soundtrack. <laughs> it's hydraulics in my in my car. They're four. just going back and forth. It's hydraulics. <laughs> Best audio design, Hellblade. That one's a given. That that game is all audio design. There's nothing really else to it. Best performance, Melina Jurgens, Hellblade. What was surprising about that was she revealed to everyone that she wasn't an actress. She was just like a, a marketing person that they chose. And she, she wasn't fucking, an actress. She, she no. fucking killed she was part it. Of the development team. She, she wasn't an actress. She was just a lady with real schizophrenia. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was so surprised when I heard that because the, her performance was fucking beautiful. It was stunning. And then when she said that she was just a marketing person, I was like, oh my God, you need to go to fucking Hollywood, do some more games. Taking marketing intern to a whole nother level. Yeah, dude. I hope she got paid extra for that shit, man. Do you know what intern means, Wayne? <laughs> no. Dude, only accept paid internships, my dude. Um, Ashley Birch has Aloy and Horizon. Was I it was pretty good. BJ Blaskowitz, Chloe Frazier for Uncharted, and then Nadine for Uncharted. But you got to give it to, to Senua. Uh, games for Impact, Senua Sacrifice, Hellblade again. Um, I mean, the other ones were pretty, pr- pretty. I can't believe Life is Strange Before the Storm is on there. Don't get me started on that. <laughs> so, how, how far them. have you made it finally? In that game? Yeah, if you he still never pl- touched it again, I haven't touched no, it. No, he hasn't again. played it again. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'll never, t- I will never go back to that series again. Uh, best ongoing game, Overwatch, um, which is pretty cool. I would have given it to Rainbow Six Siege, but Overwatch, mm-hmm. I mean, it's obvious. Yeah, Overwatch just has more, way more numbers. Yeah, that's the only reason that that you can expect them to win. There's just so such a bigger game. I don't mean that, I, or Warframe. That's what- Warframe would have been good too because they just keep yeah. releasing crazy shit. Yeah, but that's like that's that's Blizzard's category. Like, yep. yeah, Warframe it's even like, had like a whole spot at the Game Awards where they were showing fan made trailers and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, no, Warframe's been doing good, but that's that's Blizzard's category. That's like, hey, dude, we won it for like ten years with World of Warcraft. Now we have this new game that's gonna win it for the next ten years. Yeah. Best indie game, uh, Cuphead. That one, that one's awesome. Good for Cuphead. Monument Valley, best mobile game. Sad that we didn't see my game Crossy Roads on there, but maybe next year. Dude, Monument Valley's good though. I know. I want to play it. I it's not just a yet. Frogger clone. <laughs> I haven't played Monument Valley yet, so I want to. I do want to check it out. It's hard to beat Frogger, dude. It's a classic. Uh, best handheld, Metroid: Samus Returns. I mean, I'm not a handheld. Um, is Switch Switch is not a handheld, I guess, right? It's not considered a handheld device. It's considered a home console uh, that you can take on the go. That's pretty interesting. I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah. But, I mean, I understand why they make... I mean, all right, once the 3DS is gone, is that category gone? No, then uh, it's Switch. 
Then they just move the switch. <laughs> then, it's, then, then it's, it's the switch. switch. That's what I'm thinking. But what, but what is its competition, yeah, but, honestly? The, the what shield? is the 3DS's the Vita? Con- Yeah, what's the Vita yeah, I was gonna say what is the US. it? Yeah, there's no there's no competition. It's already I was gonna handheld. say yeah, it's, when, when it's already Sony, the 3ds like contest. So when right. Sony makes a knockoff switch, you know that they whatever they call that the the Vita whatever plus I don't know, then we can consider the switch a, a handheld. I guess. Yeah. Best VR game, Rising Evil Seven. Um, takes that one. I I that one's awesome. I wish Super Hot would have won, but Resident Evil Seven VR was pretty insane. Lone Echo, uh, I haven't played. Wait, hold on. I want to see really quick um, if that's the game that I played. Yes, I did play Lone Echo. So I just played Lone Echo the other day, and it's a it's a, a VR game where you use the you float in this th- zero G environment, and you use the environment to push yourself. Right, that's how you move across this like map, and this map is basically like a soccer field with little obstacles in your way to to use to float around in. And you're basically throwing frisbees through the goal. And dude, I have never gotten so sick in my entire life than playing this game. This game makes me, oh my God, I was getting so nauseous. I, every 10 minutes I had to take the helmet off and just sit down yeah. and close my eyes. It was really disorienting. You can't do motion in VR yet. Like you just, especially so, like huge amounts of motion. And if it's rotating, fuck that. Well, some, like I was playing against like, because what's cool about VR is that the helmet's always on. Like, it just clicks on. You could turn it off if you want. Uh, so when you're playing multiplayer, you hear people talking. And I was listening to, like, this probably, like, 10-year-old kid, some, like, 30-year-old dude, uh, and just some other some other dude trying to figure out how to, like, team up and, like, throw this Frisbee through this fucking thing while getting sick at the same time. And it was a pretty cool experience. Uh, and they didn't seem to really get that as affected as I was getting. I, I have a pretty weak stomach, but I don't know how some people can play that game, man. It's crazy. Even Resident Evil, Evil 7 uh, makes me a little nauseous. Just any locomotion uh, movement is just so disorienting. So much so, I am actu- I actually wrote an article for the website about the current state 2017 of VR and my opinions on it. So be on the lookout for that. Best action game, Wolfenstein 2. What's up? You saying something? Did you, did you say my name? Did you need something? No, 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 no. I said loco oh. motion. <laughs> loco mo- so pretty soon we're gonna have to to change your name to loco motion. Once you lose a couple more pounds, man. Yeah. Loco motion. <laughs> <laughs> Just a shout out to to uh, everyone watching. How much how much did you use, lose so far? Twenty pounds, you said. In your uh, I saw your Snapchat, right? Uh, it was, I think, I think I weighed myself in uh, twenty pounds from the last time you weighed yourself, or the last time you. Yeah. yeah so that's... it's like I lost the water weight. So I guess that's like uh, thirty-five about since I started. That's insane. That's insane. Yeah, man. How was the last time you, lost... you? When was the last time you lost that much weight? I don't know. Like I, I hadn't weighed myself since like high school. You're looking thinner so, already, dude. No. Uh, thirty pounds is I'm, fucking I'm, insane. Over thirty pounds, and you. Yeah, just but I'm a, I'm a big I'm a big dude though, so I'm gonna lose weight rapidly until I hit a certain point, then I'm gonna plateau for a little while. Like, no, right. man, you'd be surprised though. You'd be surprised if you just keep doing what you're doing. I think you're gonna be on the right track. You know, I think you're just yeah. gonna be killing it. I, res- I responded to that Snapchat by just showing my own priorities. <laughs> Just showed up. I just sent him back a picture of my Christmas tree because all that's underneath my Christmas tree like is like and... it's just it's just gift boxes that people have been getting me of the like the liquor gift set boxes. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I, sent, I sent that and Jerry sent me back. He was like, "Hey, that's cool. Look at this liquor." And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> no, no." I was like, "No," I was like, "All right, dude, that's awesome. I'm proud of you." <laughs> Meanwhile, my priorities are going down the tree instead of the drain, and it was just <laughs> yeah. So, so dude, keep it up, man. You're just killing it. That's crazy. Uh, best action game: Wolfenstein Two: New Colossus. Um, I mean, it's, I I haven't really played too much of it. I only played the the demo, but it's pretty pretty dope. Neo is didn't win anything. Best action adventure: Zelda. I mean, you'd think they'd give it to Horizon. And then give Zelda game of the year. 
guess it don't work that way. Best role playing game, Persona 5. Best fighting game, Injustice 2. Best family game. All right, let's talk about Injustice 2. Do you guys think that that one should win or Tekken 7? Which one do you think? I think I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> or do you think I they mean... should just always give it to Fight Night Round 2 from 27? <laughs> Fight Night Round 3 was pretty cool. But uh, I don't know, man. Like, I played Tekken 7, so obviously I'm going to say Tekken 7. I haven't, I didn't play both, though. Oh, so. okay. I think Injustice 2, like, changed changed the game, dude. That shit was fucking... It's so fun. Best family game, I mean, Mario Odyssey, is the only thing it won. I can see that. Yeah, that's crazy. It's I mean... the only thing it won. I mean, it went up against Zelda a lot, so I guess that's yeah. understandable. But Jesus, like... Hey, it's it one more than... A that's lot. Same time, that's one more than Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it was a tough year for any game competing against Zelda. I mean, how do you compete against Zelda Breath of the Wild, dude? It was that's tough, man. I, well, mean, I mean, dude, I thought Horizon had a chance. It was really yeah, good. I did too. I did too, but But then we had the the so masterpiece. We had the fucking masterpiece too, dude, though. So, you know, how can any of these games compete with PUBG? <laughs> PUBG. Fuck PUBG. I can't wait to get it for Xbox. Best strategy game. You just get Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> I have Fortnite. Best strategy game, Mario Rabbids. Um, Total War. Didn't get it. Sorry, I'm Jerry. Oh, pissed Halo, about that. Halo Wars 2 didn't get it? <laughs> no. What do no, you it's mean? just like, it's just like, all right, dude. Oh. Like, okay, so Rabbids won it. Rabbids seems like a really good game. But okay, it's it's XCOM Lite. It's Baby's First XCOM versus Total War. <laughs> Versus, like, the best Total War that's ever been made. Dude, this and is the thing no. about these awards. It's like, Nintendo, it's just, there's so much passion behind Nintendo for some reason. I don't know where it comes from. It's because you can only buy three games. <laughs> yes, is that it? Have they used it? No, because once Metroid comes out, you know Metroid's going to fucking win everything. Uh, what else is there? What else Pokemon? does Nintendo have? Pokemon, that's going to win everything. Like it, if they both come out so in the dumb. same year, what the fuck? Like, I don't mind uh, Zelda winning a lot of awards because I, I do think it was a fucking crazy, insane game. But Mario Odyssey, I mean, I can see it being nominated for best family game, maybe best adventure game or something. But I don't think it's the best game of the year, not compared to some of these other ones. I don't think Honestly, it has the best game direction. Uh, I wasn't going to be surprised if it took best game of the year, though, because it's a like, a, you know, a Mario game. Like, a yeah. usually just straight up mario games like actual new mario installments win all those awards so i'm actually surprised that even though zelda was a fucking great game apparently i haven't played it but even though it was a great game like i'm still surprised that it beat mario because mario is usually shoe in for that kind of shit yeah especially this one this one was a pretty substantial release in the mario franchise i mean it also i think it depends on what award you're going off of because this also this award list we're watching would not be. I mean, the only let's put it this way: the only reason why I watched it is because we're talking about it on this podcast. No, well, like, it's like I, don't, the I don't take the game awards seriously at all. It's definitely like the mainstream, <laughs> the mainstream awards. This is like the biggest one. So yeah, what would that in... the, used to be on Vice Awards. What was the main uh, like movie awards? The Oscars is that the main one? Yeah. Fuck the Oscars. Basically, basically, fuck the Oscars. <laughs> hey, no, no, fuck the Oscars. Basically, that's what this is. It's the Oscars. Yeah. So you're going to have just missing See, the numbers. Oscars. It's all numbers. Yeah, but then the Oscars actually have, like, you know, history and years of some respect and some disrespect. But, like, there is something behind it, not just like, hey, dude, I made a Game Awards show on Vice. This This is it now, right, guys? I wasn't know what it, I'm talking wasn't it, about. Wasn't it, wasn't it well, Spike You got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. Yeah, it was Spike wasn't TV. Yeah, it was Spike. Oh, it was God, Spike. even worse yeah. than Vice. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with Spike TV? There's cops 24-7. Spike TV <laughs> any, any channel with cops 24-7 is a channel that I'm It was watching. just cops 24-7, and then as soon as 10 p.m. hit, it was just reruns of The Man Show. Yeah. <laughs> and or then the game of one ways to die. A couple... A couple uh... <laughs> 
couple times a year they'd run a 007 marathon. <laughs> yeah. Dude, long, but, yeah. long gone are the days of MXC. <laughs> Yeah. Oh god! No, um, dude, that was the only reason to peace. watch Spike TV, and they—I mm-hmm. yeah. mean, I guess they just ran out of episodes of MXC to redub. So that's yeah, they just put those on G4. Oh my god! G4 yeah, like is that, the best. Let's not get yeah, into this. Yeah, 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 yeah no, let's not start just talking saying, about G4 would... and Tech TV anymore. <laughs> let's not. Let's just leave that shit alone. If they would have had, if they would have had an award show, I would have taken that a lot more seriously than the former Spike TV Award Video Game Awards. Well, I, well, all now I'm saying, all I'm trying to say. Well, now it's um, I mean, it's pretty much considered the the awards for the industry, you know how the Oscars is. So I mean, it's turned into it. When it first came out, it was definitely like this fucking Dorito eating cheese fest. Uh, now it's a little bit more serious. I like this this year's award show. I thought it was pretty good. I liked how they had the two, um, the two um, I don't I don't know what they're called like legacy awards which i thought was pretty cool and they had the orchestra tons of just re- uh previews for games so i thought that was pretty cool i thought they did a good it was definitely entertaining in my opinion it's, maybe it's just because there was a lot of good games out this year so there was like you wanted to know who what people wanted to win but what people were behind and uh it was mostly zelda best sports game um for uh forza motorsport 7 which what Pretty crazy, man. Forza winning that one. Grand Turismo okay. Sport didn't win. Project Cars Two didn't win. Pretty, pretty much of a shame. I was the thinking FIFA was going to win. I was expecting FIFA. So. Yeah, but FIFA just doesn't. It hasn't really been anything new since like, for like the last four or five years. Where Forza, like the car games, they always introduce like new technology for whatever it is like whether it's new like tire technology or gravity technology maybe that's what goes into it there's a huge sim market too maybe the, those are the ones that are voting this year best multiplayer P- PUBG. i don't think that one um is, is too surprising i would have given it to my boys in the squid department ah uh, that's if PUBG was the one one it'd be that one like yeah. that one's like the one I'm like most okay with, even though it's not a finished game, just because like it still was the number one multiplayer game yeah. played. Like, I just wish far. that they wouldn't allow it to be in contention. You know, are they allowed to go in again? Like once the game is released, you know what I mean? Like can they can they re-enter the award show once it's officially released? Like that kind of stuff is like. If anything, it should only be open for that award that's like, what, best ongoing game? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. They, there's no way you can be nominated for best game of the year twice. Right. It makes no sense. That's what I'm saying. It's it's weird. That would have been pissed if it won game of the year, but it's like if they multiplayer, make a, sure. If they make like a Persona 5 Golden, that's not going to be like, oh, game of the year again. <laughs> How uh, those works. Best debut indie game, Cuphead. Uh, most and now we're in the fan choices. Most anticipated game, Last of Us Part Two. Uh, trending gamer was Doctor Disrespect. Best esports player was Faker. Best esports game, Overwatch. I was pissed about team, that. Cloud Nine. Why you want to counter? Best esports. Any of the other games were be better. Wait, what? Than what, is, over, what was best esports? Overwatch. 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 Best esports game. Yeah, what? fucking uh, you can what? suck my dick. <laughs> what? That's dumb. That's so fucked. Do you think they paid? So what? Dumb. You think that was that, a sponsored that, award? There's some, there's some kind of shady shit going on because every what? single other game in that category was is a better esport game. Yeah. Like, are I, mean, I guess they're I guess they're trying to like rile people up and like get them hyped for this weird fucking NFL esque esport bullshit with the uh, new york doing. exclusion or whatever it was i was making fun of last week this was voted on by the fans this is a fan decision too i think what happened was well, yeah, a lot of most people other saw... games we don't give a shit because we don't trust this award show <laughs> well i also think that like when people some people think of esports they just think of like watching twitch and overwatch is consistently like the number one watch twitch game so maybe that's what happened there I don't know. Uh, Chinese. I don't fan, think it's the number one for that. Chinese fan game award JX3HD. I don't know who that is. Best esports team, Cloud Nine. 
I'm okay with that because I like Cloud9, but some bias there. But I'm still just like, okay, really Faker again? Like, uh, really? Faker's the best, dude. Fuck like, he's you. been getting worse, though, but there's a I lot better it. players than Faker I in other sport Faker. games. I voted for Faker. Like, don't get if me wrong, he's still it. the best league, but he's declining versus, like, people who are, like, by far God status now in their prime. I'm just saying. But no, dude, we're going to give it to fucking Faker. All right. <laughs> the first time the man streamed, I think he had like 100,000 viewers. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was it was some kind of ridiculous amount. When he streams now, he still gets like, I don't know, like 60,000 when he streams. It's crazy. Damn, dude. All right, so the games that had the most nominations, Destiny 2, Horizon, Zelda, Mario Odyssey. Those are the four. They all had six nominations. Yeah, that's how you know they're shitty awards. That's it. Like, okay, you just you just said it right there. That's why I don't give these awards a lot of credibility. The, the game with the most nominations was Destiny 2. Yep. Tons of nominations. <laughs> I mean, you could uh, you could say the same for pretty much any awards, dude. Any kind of like mainstream awards, Grammys, um, Oscars. It's all just numbers. Whoever has the most reach, it's like a popularity contest, you know. Especially with but gaming. Destiny Two isn't even popular anymore. <laughs> well, it's it's definitely popular. That's for sure. It's definitely a popular game. I mean, it was for like the first like month before it just tanked and lost like what like four fifths of its player base yeah i don't know how i don't know what their player base is at now <laughs> probably not high my dude it's definitely a fraction of what it used to be like guy that that it dropped off so fucking quickly it's insane i know a new uh raid got released too recently i think the other day all right and that was uh those are the the winners of the V Game Awards 2017. Hopefully next year. I mean, 2018 sounds like it's going to be stacked. So hopefully it's as good as this year was. Because this was a really good year in gaming. I mean, almost every week we had a game that we could talk about. And whether if it was like a hype game that was coming out or if it was like a critically acclaimed game that was getting reviewed. There was just so much so much good triple a titles and indie games and it was a pretty good year for games man go zelda and if you haven't play all those games that are in the best uh games list game of the year list except for PUBG if you haven't if you don't want to play just a multiplayer game cuz they're all pretty good man per- persona horizon mario zelda can't go wrong there all right let's get into the news, A Way Out Online Co-op is playable with only one copy of the game. That's awesome. That is awesome. So it's an you can only play online, right? It's not a split screen game. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's split screen. You know how it is like uh Cuz it looked like it was when they showed the previews. Here within these last what decade like the split screen has really declined. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't mind. It. I hate split screen, dude. Uh, I mean, I I hate it, but I mean, it's kind of shitty. There's I guess times, if you have, like there's times when it's good. Yeah, yeah. Like if or you have like, siblings, yeah, like oh. dude, Caitlin and I will want to play a game together. Now, now I have to have my second computer, which luckily I have a second computer. But let's re- be real. It kind of sucks. Yeah. Well, what would be a good split screen game that's out right now? I'm trying to think. Uh, well, I mean, most it's, of them that would like a sports be, game. yeah, most of them that would be a good split screen game already have split screen in it, like uh, Mario Kart. Yeah, Mario Kart. No, yeah. that's say, basically for, it. <laughs> not 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 for split screen, but co op in general. Cuphead is a great co op game. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you, but it's not split yeah, screen. Share, it's not split yeah, screen. Yeah, screen. It's not split screen like 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 specifically split screen. I mean, it's just it was always a problem, like. I don't know why there was so much nostalgia behind split screen. I wasn't a fan of it. Like, did you prefer vertic- vertical or horizontal split screen? Hor- horizontal. Uh, well, I like vertical. Yeah. Like, I like Halo. I, feel like I couldn't. 
Halo was the horizontal split screen. No, Halo was cool because you played with three people, and the first player got the big screen, and you always wanted to be that dude. (laughs) I always thought that was a fucking awesome way to just fucking get those other two people really mad at you. Dude, you got the bigger screen, man. Those were the good old days. Like, uh, we would go over to my cousin's house, and she would have, like, two rooms that were close together. I mean, I'm guessing rooms and houses are usually close together. Get the big (laughs) Ethernet cord. Yep, and we would run that bitch under like one of the doors. Yeah, <laughs> and we would just hit like close the door and have four on four, dude. It was so awesome. Yeah, man, parties. that shit was great. But now uh, you don't have to worry about that shit anymore. Yeah. It's, it's now, awesome. <laughs> it's now cool. I can play PUBG with a hundred people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. yeah well, I mean, that's... dude, you you do get to play it with a hundred people for like twenty seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Traps to like 40 real quick. Yup. But uh yeah, I think this is really awesome. Like they I think there has been a game or two or maybe a couple that have done this before where the multiplayer is uh or the co-op multiplayer is available for both players as long as one person owns the game. But this is this is really cool. I, I really do like that they did this. Yeah. And it I think they do it to really uh encourage co-op because it is a co-op game like they made it specifically as a co-op game which is pretty cool but looking at the game i don't know i'm not that hype on this game it seems a little mafia style i don't know if you guys ever played mafia but it like it's like a weird version of gta where it just doesn't quite bring the same type of tightness like how gta has it and that's kind of the vibe i get from here I think I'm going to wait for some reviews to come out before I check this one out. Which yeah, you should... should do with every fucking game, you <laughs> fucking piece of shit. They, uh... <laughs> they... <laughs> I mean... Says, I mean, the, yeah. says the, the Destiny pre-order guy. I didn't oh, pre-order no, it. that was... Uh, that, oh, was man. <laughs> yeah, that was, you. That was <laughs> me. I'm not going to lie. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. They showed it at E3. You guys remember that? uh i just saw okay. it no i just saw it on the psx um previews well i mean if it's anything like brothers they would that's perfect for split screen like if it if it is kind of still in that like vein of your like playing as two characters or something that's perfect i would almost want to play this style of game uh, if it's like that brothers was such a good game i haven't played that one oh it's a it's a single player game though like you control each brother with each stick yeah it's it's one of it's one of the first games ever that elicited like an emotional response from me just from the controls i suggest you play it with a controller really yeah Yeah. no it's it's actually really good and if it's if it ends up being anything like that and it's just one person controlling one of the people instead of you controlling both i'm totally okay with that yeah yeah, I'm pretty yep. sure it's just like a split screen mode and you just control the other dude. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Plus the dude that we're going to talk about next is pretty passionate and that gets me hyped, dude. So the developer defends <laughs> fuck the Oscar rant from the Game Awards. Uh, Joseph Fares is the guy's name and it's him right there. <laughs> let's get Let's play it really quickly. <laughs> Oh, now we just we'll just watch a 15 second ad first. So uh, there you go with that. About Thank some you. wine. <laughs> Thank you, Polygon, you fuckers. Oh, Tripped God. you. Damn, you got me. Got my dumb ass. All right, so here we go. There we go. You were at the first Game Awards back 2014, uh, announcing something named Codename Hazelight. Now we know it's a way out. It's coming out uh, next year. Uh, so how does it feel to be back at the Game Awards four years later? Look at me, man. How do I look? It's like, I'm telling you this. Okay. It's like Tommy there are, Wazoo. There are like Wazoo. passionate people, there are crazy people. Look at me, man. How do I look? To be here. <laughs> to be and meeting these the Oscars, they, yeah. they should it's fuck crazy. themselves like, up. Like, look, this is, this is kind of insane. Like, we're here, we're serving this. Look, the Oscars should fuck themselves up. This is the shit. I'm telling you, this is, this is the real shit. What is this? this is interactive gaming. Interactive Look, gaming. Let, let me tell, I'm sorry, I'm taking it out. Let it's me just good. give me a minute. Uh, take time. Look. Okay, can you swear here? Can you, you swear? Can you swear me. after Fuck he Oscars, says it you know? nine times? Fuck the Oscars! <laughs> Fuck you! I'll tell you! I'm just like, this is bullshit! 
Look, yeah. What does this guy deal with the Oscars, though? I don't know. I don't get it, dude. He's so pumped about interactive gaming, dude. Um, uh, YouTube, this is where we're actually doing all quotes. Please don't demonetize us. This is an educational <laughs> video. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand um, why he decided to go on this rant, but. I mean, it makes me want to play his game a little bit more than I than I did. That's for damn <laughs> yeah. sure. You know, it's going to be an eccentric game, if nothing else. All right. <laughs> I like how the I like how he's constantly trying to get him back on track, and he's like, "No, fuck the Oscars!" <laughs> it's like, Jesus, man, calm down. Yeah, Jeff Keeley's face just want- during the whole rant is hilarious because he's both like trying to like laugh it off, but also wants to put a bullet in his head so bad at the same time and just watching the contrast here let's just zoom in on jeff Kelly's face really quick so you can see once he starts ranting it's like all you have to do is you can just cut that uh yosef fairs guy out and just have a, a constant reaction gif <laughs> montage <Yeah. laughs> Like, who can expect something like that? How do you prepare mentally for something like that to happen? I don't know, like, dude. This guy is working at his own company and developing video games. Let's bring him up to talk about his new video game. Nope. Fuck, Fuck the Oscars. The Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> this is interactive gaming. He's hyped. All right. Well, that's a, that's a good laugh. Uh, Mega Man is coming to Monster Hunter World. I, this was at PSX, too. I don't understand what this is. Is this like... I saw like they're putting music in it, right? Like you can uh, put the Mega Man music in the game. Yeah, depending on which weapon you're using, which I mean, that's interesting. But uh, they're also coming out with. Um, I mean, they've all Capcom's always done this with uh, Monster Hunter games, most especially. They'll uh, put out cost or they'll come out with costumes or gear or equipment that looks like um, other Capcom games. Like there was all the cross uh, promotion stuff. Yeah, yeah it, there was like a Devil May Cry equipment there's, featuring there's Dante like, from the Devil May Cry franchise. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> on Capcom. But anyway, yeah, the real Dante, not the teenage angst Dante. But um, so Dante. Yeah, yeah Dante. Exactly. You know, the, the best, the best Dante. Yeah, but uh, they they do this all the time. It's still I I met I, I don't know I saw the the palico that's what they're called palicos like the little cats that come and help you on the quest or whatever i saw the uh the equipment in the trailer and it looked kind of cool it's like uh cell shaded no let's talk about your experience with the beta because you've been playing it oh dude i love the beta (laughs) i I, like i said there's only three missions but uh i mean they have changed quite a bit from what i've seen like underneath the base game is still there they only give you three missions but uh there's some variation for each mission so you can play them repeatedly but um like they changed this how skills work used to uh on your equipment you would have just certain skills and a number beside them and your skills wouldn't activate until you got like that number totaled up to like 15 or 10 or 15 or something so you wouldn't get them but on, it looks like on equipment now you just get the skill on the equipment and you can makes it a little a lot easier to mix and match to what you want um so that's cool uh, i thought that the scout flies were going to be kind of shitty but they actually make sense they actually it actually feels like you're actually tracking the monster now like you'll run around and you'll find a footprint and then you'll run and then you'll find another footprint and um, like places where the monster had like scraped on the ground or something and eventually you get enough of those and the scout flies will be like all right so this is where it's at and so you run and find the monster it feels like you're tracking the monster whereas in older monster hunter games uh if you didn't know what area the monster spawned in or where it went then you would basically just be running around the map blind until you finally stumbled into the monster and it's like a uh, pokemon go have- tracking yeah <laughs> it's like it's it's here <laughs> just here so yeah. here's your city it's here <laughs> in this area but um it, i messed around with a couple of the weapons so far i main hammer so of course i played everything with hammer but uh i don't know i messed around with great sword a little bit long sword it feels nice it feels good um 
I really do think this is going to be the definitive version of Monster Hunter. Uh, so is the game all online to get MMO? N- no, you can play it single player. You can play it single player. The thing is, is usually in the older games, of course, I don't know how this is going to work, but in the older games, you had like a single player campaign, I guess, where you can do like the single play. They used to call them caravan quests or village quests. You can just do the single player or you can also uh, go to the online mode or whatever. It's not even a mode. It's like you go into a building and they're like, do you want to search for other hunters to do these quests with you? And you're like, yeah, sure. And you do a completely separate line of quests that are geared towards, you know, having multiple people. So they're harder quests. But uh, yeah, I really see this being received very well amongst the uh, monster hunter community at first people were scared because they were like oh this doesn't look like a monster hunter game what are these fucking flaws doing here and what's this and what's that but oh it look it feels really good it feels it does feel like a monster hunter game and every change that they did make it felt like a good direction also you have two fucking sticks now so you don't have to do the fucking play psp fucking claw trying to get around uh and move the camera while you're also moving so twin sticks really did help also uh i know your thing wayne when you said that you tried to play a little bit of a monster hunter game before is that there's no lock on yeah so that that is a big thing in monster hunters like there's no lock on but um in this one there's still no lock on surprise thank god i'm glad they didn't have lock on but uh they did add like the z targeting mechanic from the newer the newer 3ds monster hunters where you can kind of lock on to the monster to where the camera will move with it so you can still look at it and you can track it that way when you're fighting it way better yeah but your your moves don't track on it so there is no actual well i think it i think a lot of my problem with the with the old one is that one i had no idea what the fuck i was doing it <laughs> doesn't tell you what to do <laughs> yeah so i just like talked to some dude they like 10 pages of text on like the first 10 minutes and they're like okay see you later and then i'm yes. just like what do i do now you're so like just walking around and i meet this 90 foot fucking tyrannosaurus <laughs> and then it just steps on me and i'm like oh okay it took me 90 minutes to run here Welcome to Monster Hunter. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like 10 pages of text and like nine of those pages are memes and puns. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I don't get because I don't know the fucking franchise. Yeah. And then when you go to fight, I, this is, I, think, I think no lock-on in this situation would be fine because it's like graphically pleasing uh, where it's like you can actually see what's going on where... No lock on on the 3ds. It just feels uh, like it just it just feels clunky. You know what I mean? And it just doesn't. It's not fluid. And I didn't yeah. like that. So I think yeah. this it's a lot better because it's more fluid of an experience just because of the graphical upgrade. Yeah, it's harder to tell what's going on in yeah. the 3ds. Yeah, I got you. But Plus, the, I didn't even the... know if I was hitting my enemies. Like I didn't even know if if I was fighting enemies at all. Like I was just like attacking this dinosaur and my sword just goes through it, right? And I'm like, yeah. am I hitting it? Am I what's going on? Is this even someone that I'm supposed to be attacking? <laughs> you had to get out of protect mode and get into attack mode. <laughs> I had no I had no clue. Protect, what I, I might revisit also it. Attack. Should I like watch a video or something? Like how do I learn how Probably, to play? Yeah. If if I were you, I'd play yeah. the fucking beta cuz you still got another day to play it. Oh, really? Oh, maybe I will yeah. do that. Yeah, I was literally just playing it when we at the first half of the show, not the first half of the show, but the first like it's 10, open 15 beta, right? minutes. I could just download yeah. it. Yep. If you're a PS Plus member, you can download it. I might do and that. And it's it's open for one more day. It's open until 10 o'clock in the morning, tomorrow morning. I might do that. Get uh, some footage too. Yeah. But uh, I should have, but I, <laughs> I was a little bit busy or busy. But <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, like uh, so. Are you no, hype? Is that the that's yeah, the last? Oh question. yeah, I'm how, still hype. How much more hype are you now that you got to get a little taste of it? I'm I'm a lot more hype. <laughs> I, <can't, laughs> I cannot wait for this game. You guys have no idea how much time I'm about to sink into this game, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, the Monster Hunter franchise is probably the only other game that has ever rivaled the amount of hours played is League of Legends. Yeah, 
So for me, just anyway. get into it then. Oh God. Like I've literally sunk in <laughs> probably close to a thousand hours between all the monster Hunter games. I've played. That's crazy on that yeah. tiny ass screen. Finally, yep. you get to do it on a big ass oh, TV now. Exactly. <laughs> oh my God. You're hype. I'm so fucking hype. Dude. You didn't play <laughs> monster Hunter three ultimate for the Wii U. Yeah. I <laughs> have, I, that's the whole reason I bought a Wii U was for monster oh Hunter God. three ultimate. Yeah, oh, so you are uh, you yep. are not a wise uh, not a wise person for doing that. Yeah, well, I also got to play Bayonetta too, so fuck you. <laughs> hey, and you'll be able to play it on the Switch. Yep. <laughs> Stardew Valley Bayo three though. Stardew Valley coming to PS Vita, and then you wrote why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's got the Sky- Skyrim disease, dude. <laughs> Well, it, I mean, that's the thing. It's so easy to put on everything. They don't figure, they don't, it's like, why? <laughs> I know <laughs> I it's not. so easy. When it, do I, I get to play Stardew Valley on my phone? On the Engage looking ass. But <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, it's like, it's like that saying, it's like, we never, it's like, we, we always thought, could we do it? We never <laughs> stopped to think, should well, we yeah, do it? We? Uh, all, right, like, all right, Ian Malcolm. <laughs> Like, that's not your market. PS Vita is not your fucking market, man. But it could be. You You never know until you try. You know what market? (laughs) They're going to spend more money putting out fucking copies of this game. Than the multiplayer? Who who even owns a PS Vita in the United States? I think you might be the only one. I do. But you already own a game. Would you buy it again for Vita? Probably not, right? Fuck no. Yeah. Fuck no. I'm not buying it again for anything. I I'll tell you PC. this. I have, down- I have downloaded it. It's on my Switch. Finally. Ready to go. But he, but he but has but he hasn't played it. I have not got into it yet. <laughs> Fucker. I have not got into it yet. <laughs> but, I'm slowly yeah. making my way there. I mean, slowly making your way downtown to your farming existence. You gotta start walking faster towards it. I, I thought there, you were dude. about to start singing that song. No. Vanessa, Vanessa Carlton. <laughs> yeah. But I only... <laughs> I mean, Wayne, I only have 216 hours in Stardew Valley. <laughs> yeah, dude, you should play Stardew Valley. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't they come out with it on the 3DS? Huh? Because they can huh? do it on the Switch. I don't That's, know, man. Yeah, yeah, just put it on the 3DS instead of the fucking Vita. Like I said, that's not your market. You know what? You know what the PS Vita market is for? It's for Japanese people and JRPGs. That's what the PS Vita market's for. And Which it's is a- not. It's not a Western market. That's Stay fair, but it. that's also arguable a market that they could break into. That's what I, I was trying to joke at. It, it, well, it probably it's doesn't like, even it's... cost them that much money. I mean, right. how, like, are there it, physical copies not. of it? There's probably no, no. physical copies. Yeah, no. It's, like, it's, the same, it's the same reason why they put it onto the Switch in the first place, too, was like, it's the closest thing we have to, you know, Harvest Moon. And I'm yeah. pretty sure there's quite a few people who only have a Vita. They haven't bought a Switch yet in Japan. We're like, yeah, dude, I want Harvest Moon. I don't know. Yeah, I think if they were just like, why not? We we have we can probably port it really quickly. Some dude in here knows how to do it, so let's just do it. That's probably what it was. Yeah, I mean, I'd would, I would still rather them come out with multiplayer finally. Yeah, you know, for everything else, it got delayed again. So instead of Vita, but you know, it, all right, okay, fine. Sony exec. <laughs> Hints that we'll be able to change PSN names within the year. I didn't realize how many people wanted this until I watched that PSX thing. Oh, dude, I want it. I didn't. I want it. I want it for every single time Sony's been hacked. Yeah, it's probably about six times then. Six name 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 chains name changes. I have uh my my PSN name is Loco Mojo Redux, so I kind of want to change that. Damn, that's way. sick, bro. <laughs> uh, I, I would like, like just Loco Mojo, but uh, I think that that's taken. It's probably by some PSN account that I forgot the password to, but. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Redux just means reborn. So I mean, the, Dude, you know how Xbox does it? You have to pay to change your name on Xbox. That could be a good way for them to make money. Dude, somebody, somebody like nabbed, bucks. somebody nabbed uh, my a lot Twitch of places username. And it pisses me off. I can't no. get my same username on PSN as my Twitch username. Somebody already has it. Really, Doobie, Doctor Doobie. Doctor Doobie is taken. I had to do Doctor Doobie PhD. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking I was mad when I did that shit. I was like, what the fuck? Who the fuck stole my name? Mine, um, I had to change mine once. I did not change it, but get a new one once because 
my brother uh, changed the password on my other one. And I was trying to log in. This was like not even that long ago. I want to say like a year ago, maybe. So then I just put a three where the E is. Boom. Done. Damn, my eyes are on fire right now, dude. I can't see. Someone someone take the show for a minute. And then we well, all sit in silence. Yeah, say, well, Wayne's <laughs> eyes are on fire. I just want to keep the camera on him. Just have so, everyone watch his pain. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so real quick filler, Loco. Uh, I just sent that to you. But uh, the Fighting EX Layer beta is now on the PS uh, store. The what? It's that, the uh, fighting what? It's the fighting game from the guys who did the uh, the... It was known as the Eureka Mystery Game. They're the guys who did Street Fighter EX. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the demo yeah, 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 yeah. for two yeah. weeks. So yeah, I'm going to download that later. That was so like another, a meme. another fighting game is what well, you're saying. Well, yeah. it was, <laughs> another, it was like, another fighting game. It was like a meme for like a year. Like they came out Dude, with fighting this, games this, on this show a is a meme because it's it all we a... talk about every week because there's a new one every fucking week. No, it was an what April Fool's joke. Yeah, it was an they April Fool's real. joke. It was an April Fool's joke, and they made a trailer for it. And people, it generated so much interest that they're actually making the game now. Okay, yeah, that's, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, that's because yeah. Street Fighter EX was actually a really good fighting game. <laughs> we we covered that on uh, on another episode of No Life. Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah so that. the beta is currently live. You have to be a PS Plus subscriber, of course, to get into the beta. But it'll be up for two weeks. For those of you that are wondering, Wayne is uh, literally touching his eyeballs right now and just uh, <laughs> scraping them with a toothbrush. I know you don't want to see it, but I'm just going to describe so it. here we have Wayne. He's touching his eyeballs just very nicely and gently. Oh, damn, He's we turned like it. He's got a fiber cloth out now, too, so he can gently rub his glasses. Dude, that's the, that's the only way I can clean my glasses now. Microfiber? Sandy. Yeah. 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 Like I, when I was a kid, I used to be like, you know what? I'm just gonna spit on them and like fucking put like rub, rub them on my shirt. shirt, and it'll be good. And now I try to just do the little <sighs> shit and rub it on my <laughs> shirt, and it's just so miserable. There's still streaks and shit everywhere. I I, I need to get new glasses. It bothers me so much more, more and more. Like like a little speck of dust now. If I can see it, I have to fucking rub <laughs> it off. And like when you use a microfiber for too long. Then like oils get on it, and then you can like it just takes so much longer to clean your gut, whatever. Yeah, because you're just smearing oils around. <laughs> yeah, it's like Vaseline. It's like you're putting Vaseline on your eyes. That was weird though. My eyes just started burning for no reason. Um, okay, here's a the next one. Autoplay. We gotta stop the autoplay. Can I catch it? Let's do a game spot. Game spot's my nemesis. We can do it. Here we go. Gonna hit it. Oh, an ad popped up right in front of the video. As I was going to click the fucking pause button, and it hindered <laughs> me. God damn it. GameStop you got, you got your, sucks. You got debated so hard. <laughs> GameStop sucks so much, dude. Get oh, my God. Fucked. I can't believe they just did that so, to me. The video, the video is <laughs> they actually They know you're going to the... press the plus button or the pause button when the fucking autoplay comes. So they put an ad there as soon as you're about to press it. That is insidious. All right. Anyways. The uh, the trailer is actually, I mean, the video is actually just the trailer, so you could probably just let that one run. Yeah, I'm gonna let it run. So, um, this is Death Stranding's newest trailer. Uh, I don't want to. I'm just gonna like click through it a little bit. We don't have to play the whole thing. Go check it out on YouTube. It's pretty impressive. Norman Reedus. It looks like they're on some type of other planet, uh, and then it's like this pretty horrific scene where this guy's trapped underneath their spaceship vessel. And then there starts to be like these handprints and footprints all around them, but you don't see the dude, the scary dude. And then dude turns around and it's a guy floating in the air, some type of figure man floating in the air. And then this guy who's trapped gets like eaten somehow by something. Uh, and then the other guy trying to help him gets thrown up into the air. And then Norman Reedus somehow ends up underwater. Uh, and then there's a baby. There's some type of like inside him. Yeah, there's like some type of like baby thing. In well, he's like holding this vessel thing that seems to be important, right? And this vessel thing seems to seems to be like some type of soul because it's important because when he when he wakes up on the beach here, uh, he has the vessel in his hands, and then for some reason it's just a it's just an it, like a like a close up of him crying. <laughs> what the fuck? And then he looks 
And then all the floating dudes are now around him by this crater in this world. And I couldn't be more hyped for this fucking game, dude. This all awesome. the acid. Yeah, <laughs> just like, all of the acid. Like I said, I'm uh I'm not usually too big on horror games, but I will be playing this game just to see what the fuck Kojima, Kojima was smoking. Is, yeah. is it a horror game? I don't even know what kind of yeah, game it uh, is. Well, I'm I'm guessing it's de- it's gonna be horror. I'm well, sure it's be because stealth. it's well, it's gonna be scary. It's, it's yeah, it's stemming off of a uh, you know uh, playable trailer like PT, so yeah. you know it's gonna be horror. Yeah, it's, there's definitely some horror elements in here, um, but it's more like this cyber gothic, just what Kojima does best, and it's like that infusion of tech and futurism and Matrix stuff. You know what I'm saying? It gets pretty fucking, gets pretty crazy. Um, but I'm pumped, dude. I'm super pumped. It's running on the Decima engine too, and they were talking about it in PSX. They're pumped on the Decima engine. They basically made like a specific version of the Decima engine for this game too. So it's probably gonna run great. But what else runs on it? Uh, I think Horizon is the Decima engine. If if it's not, it might be the Frostbite engine. Let's see. Yes, Horizon run, Horizon was a des, the Decima engine. So okay. it's just like it's I just I, I, I haven't really heard of it that much. So I was like, I know it's still pretty new, and I'm just like, Yeah. What else even runs on it? Like it probably is made for this game. Yeah. They made it they made it for Horizon, and then when they heard Kojima with the rumblings about Kojima, they said, Look, we can help you. We got the Decima engine. They go, they approached him with the engine. He was like, Let's do it. And now Sony obviously partnering with Kojima, just giving him endless amounts of funds, being able to hire Norman Reedus and Guillermo del Toro. I mean, this is a stacked fucking production, and it's gonna be pretty cool when it gets released. This is like Hopefully. these yeah. are the triple A titles that I get really excited about when there's just everything just starts to click. The engine clicks, they get big names involved, they get great writers and directors, they got millions of dollars getting pumped into this bitch. Hopefully it turns out to be uh, a, it's a good interesting yeah. series because like it's there's definitely hype and there's deserved hype but then there's also like that part of me that starts getting a little scared yeah i don't get i don't like, want to get like give the impression that like i'm going to just like fawn over it no matter what because it's kojima and he's like my fucking he's like the top dude for me kojima and what he's done in gaming is like what i would love to do in, in any industry but I still want to look at it objectively. You know, it, you can't just have weird just to be weird. He's done that with Metal yeah. Gear Solid and it just didn't work uh, in certain situations. And you're just like, Kojima, you're going a little bit too Kojima and you got to pull it back a little bit, you know? <laughs> you're, talking about the na- you're talking about the nano machines a little bit too much for me right now. <laughs> it's like, a, it's like, dude, it's like I started not- playing this video game and it turned into an hour long documentary on fucking. <laughs> Um, PMCs. Are you yeah, like this is one PMCs. point too, by the way? I bet this you already that, twenty hour movie. I bet you that five <laughs> hours that the, the Sony XX that he played was really just five hours of cutscenes. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it was, it was just, probably like thirty minutes now, of playing. Now we understand. It was just the, the back ran, of the box. He was just reading yeah. the back of the box. <laughs> he, got to, he got to r- run through all of PT, but instead, every time you made it to the door, it's just an hour long cutscene. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> thing is is that's the thing i cannot wait for yeah. i i really love that about metal gear solid games because they really sucked me in because i mean i'd play for a little bit so i could felt like i was playing a game and then i'd round a corner and there'd be another you know 15 minute cutscene. i'm like oh yeah. then again back back the first time when i was playing those games i smoked a lot of pot so it was really nice to put to the controller down and just zone out yeah for sure dude for sure <laughs> And then well, it got really, like you said, then it got really confusing about nano machines and fucking. <laughs> and then you're the, trying to the genome project. Fox yeah, and you're trying and to Fox like die. You're and, trying to connect all the dots, and you're just you're just not even close. It's just a completely yeah, different just, meaning. You're you're Charlie Day, and it's always sunny when he's trying to figure out who Pepe Silva is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty <laughs> much. And then, except at the end, like they're just like, hey, so. You know that one guy you killed? Like we used his uh, the amputated arm to give this other dude an arm, and it took over his body. And uh, it's like, oh, 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. But yeah. now he's got <laughs> like, he's got right. some some pretty big names writing for him and directing. So hopefully they know how to make it work a little better. Uh, not to mention Mads Mikkelsen, uh, also headlining the games. So this, is, this is pretty dope, and I'm I am excited. Hopefully we get more of a westernized version of his thoughts put into a game about baby techno death planets not too sure but i am hype on it that sounds close enough to me <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see if let's see if i can catch the game spot autoplay ad block all right i got it yeah you, I, got I was about to say you definitely will pause that one um bayonetta 3 reveal is a nintendo switch exclusive this was uh this was on uh game awards right they they announced this on game awards yeah, that's pretty cool to be honest. Yeah, that's uh, that's probably what I'm gonna end. Up, that's probably what's gonna eventually make me get the switch. Yeah, Band and I think that would be a good time to get into it too, because then you'd have a nice little lineup ready for you to go. You Not know? only that, but it'd be a good time to get into Bayonetta as a franchise because they're gonna release the previous two Bayonetta games on there too. There you go. Yep, and that, that'll uh, be the first time that lot. I get in, in, introduced to the Bayonetta series. So I played I played Bayonetta one on the 360, and I really liked it. Oh yeah. So when like Nintendo and like when they announced Nintendo had like pretty much exclusive rights to Bayonetta, I was one of the first people that was like, "What? Yeah, <laughs> Nintendo? Yeah, Bayonetta really? is definitely not a franchise where you're thinking like, oh yeah, Nintendo would that- love to have this on their yeah. system." Not yeah. wait, you mean it's not Super Mario Odyssey? Like it's an M rated game? It's an M rated game where the main character is a over sexualized uh well, okay, no, that, that's that just Japan. Her, that's her, Japan. Her outfit is made out of her magical hair. And every time <laughs> you uh go into a cutscene or something, her hair like disappears and her naked body is just there. So by the way, uh, get the game. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> It is. If you, it if you really like, is a fun game, though. Yeah, if you if you like Devil May Cry, then you would fucking love this game. Yeah, yeah I love Devil May Cry. Yeah, oh, well, true. you will love I've never Bayonetta, made that man. connection before, though, but yeah. <laughs> what? what? Devil May Cry in this yeah. game? Yeah. Oh, it's it's no, better it's, it's than the play, newest yeah. Devil May Cry games. To me, to me it's the... That bi- juggle it's... system, dude. The juggle system on Devil May Cry was so fucking awesome. Dude, to the me... torture system in Bayo, that was so much fun. Yeah, to me, uh, Bayonetta is the best game franchise in uh, the stylish action j- genre. Oh, big words. Like, it's better than Devil May Cry. It's better than Beautiful Joe? <laughs> yeah. <What? laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I'm pumped I because... For, I fucking forgot about Beautiful Joe. No, wow. But, That's yeah, a reference, yeah. right? Uh, Man, rip Capcom. I'm pumped on uh, on it because I have hear a lot of good things about Bayonetta, and dude, I'm so such a fan of near automata that i think that platinum does combat really well right so let's do it they do. coming coming to the switch i'm yep. hype yeah i'm not and i'm not surprised that they're putting like when they announced 2018 uh, I mean, is stacked dude like bayo 3 I, I mean i wasn't expecting that announcement but when they announced bayo like two and one i was like yep yeah, here's another example of hey the wii u had nobody buying their system and it had some decent games like bayo 2 we got to make money still yeah for sure uh and then our last news story and our last story for the gaming segment is that from software uh, a new game got teased at the game awards with a with a cryptic trailer weird and there's a lot of people trying to decrypt this trailer so basically you're watching it now um it's gonna yeah, it's like be, a 10 second yeah. player it, actually it's, like it's not playing second. so it's what what are you guys yeah. thinking what's your no, thoughts dude, game smart spot money? is the worst dude game spot we know. Is, smart money is, would be bloodborne too th- no it this doesn't is pc gamer oh it's just pc gamer they yeah. don't allow me to to stream from their website Oh, so I have to go to YouTube now. Well, it's it, don't worry. It's like a fi- it's like a ten oh, second trailer. Yeah, it's like nothing. All right, so all right, let's start from the beginning real quick. So you see this like I don't know what this is. What do you? What is this thing here? It's an unidentified object. <sighs> but there's it's like a super <laughs> creepy. And yeah, I love it. I'm and, hype already. And, <laughs> and then there's like shadows die twice, and then that's it. So we're thinking uh, Bloodborne. I mean, it, Bloodborne. Two, I'm thinking Bloodborne 2 just because the use of twice. 
Yeah. And it's a and it's a and Bloodborne was a PlayStation exclusive and this was shown at PSX. Yeah. I mean that makes sense for Bloodborne 2. But hey, it could be new IP, which is, you know, same gameplay as Dark Souls, Dark Souls. Bloodborne, because they're the same damn thing. Yeah, pretty much. So I would like to see game something for both new. games. I would like to see something new, not necessarily a new IP, but a, like something new in their combat system. That would be pretty cool. It looks like I mean, Bloodborne 2 just by looking at the with art. The, something to do with the dying twice would be, you know, kind of cool. I yeah. think I that uh, Bloodborne actually actually has the better like PVE combat out of uh, all of those Souls type games because yeah, it's so fast paced. It's so fast paced. But um. Yeah, I think it's going to be the new blood, new Bloodborne. Uh, I didn't think they were going to come back because they said they weren't doing working on any Souls type game. I guess they. Oh meant no, they are. That, yeah, yeah. They I are. Guess they it, this is this is Dark this Souls. is Blood Souls. Yeah, Blood Souls. <laughs> this is Blood Souls. <laughs> but uh, I was watching Max because they're both in the same universe somehow. You know, I was I was watching Max's stream and he was uh, speculating and delving into theories about what it is and stuff like that and they were looking at the facebook pages and they put the trailer on from Saul's facebook page and they put it on bloodborne's facebook page but they didn't put it on dark souls facebook page uh, so that might be a tell right there but it's a knows. that's some nice investigative work right there yeah it might be might be some smoke screen work but uh yeah i think it's going to be a new like a japanese setting and a japanese setting I mean, it'd be like, I'd be down with New Bloodborne. I like yeah. Bloodborne better. Yeah, a most lot, people uh, do. Yeah, most a lot of people do. If you like PVE, it's just the setting and the actual like feel of playing it. Yeah, yeah if, if you like PVE more, then you would you really would like uh, Bloodborne more. Yeah, Dark Souls. It, it's definitely a different in terms of how it's a lot slower of a fight. Um, but I do like that about Dark Souls too. I think they are two good games that you can play separately and like both of them, you know, so they are two kind of different feels. All right. And that's pretty much it for the gaming segment. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Make sure you tune in on Friday for the technology podcast where we talk about media. We talk about art. We talk about tech. We talk about phones. We talk about pewter parts. We talk about pewter cards. We talk about pewter rams and, um, Pewter pie. Pewter pies and uh, pewter cases. And I mean, we're talking about pretty much everything else all over on that show. Um, so we moved it. You know, go check it out. Hit up our Twitter. Hit up our Facebook. Hit up, our, I mean, our Twitter. Our Instagram. I need to put that up on, on that side there, too. Maybe I'll do that right now. And then uh, hit up our Twitch. Catch you all later. Peace, peace. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye. <laughs>